guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Emily today I'm gonna be showing you guys a tour of my makeup bag or like a what's in my makeup bag I know for a fact that this is not a trend anymore oh, hang on. but I thought it would be fun to show you guys what products I'm using all that jazz so let's get started Here's my makeup bag, and I'll show you the products I use. So, for tools, I use makeup sponges and brushes. I got these sponge holders from Shop Nissa, and I use this sponge, which I don't really know what it's like called, but it's from Meyer, I believe, and it's really soft and works really well to apply makeup. It's also really easy to clean. That's why I, I, it's so clean right now. Excuse me, I just cleaned it. And then I also use this one, which is the Real Techniques Studio Sponge, and it's pretty much the same as the other one, except this one has an angle on the top and this one has the angle on the bottom. So I use those for sponges with the little sponge holders. That way I can just put them down on a desk I use a jade roller. I always keep these in my makeup bag because they feel really nice and they work really well. Yeah, so they work really well and feel really nice on your face. I got this one from Five Below. You guys know I love Five Below. I talk about it all the time. But they have them everywhere. They have them at like Target, Walmart. And it has two sides. The bigger side is for like all over your face and then... The smaller is like for right under your eyes and like stuff like that. Have an eyelash curler. It's pretty basic, just you know, curls your eyelashes. But this is the Mary Kay one. And then I have like a ton of brushes, which I don't think I have to show you. You guys know what brushes are, but like I use these from Target and they have like labels on them so yeah I use those and then the final tool I use that I keep in my makeup bag is this <sighs> painless hair remover it is super small and you can just rub it all over your face and it gets rid of everything so I also have this in my makeup bag next Going into the actual makeup for face products, I have CoverGirl foundation and concealer. I keep two concealers in my bag. One of them is more for winter and one of them is more for the summer. And then this foundation is pretty like dark for me. So it's I either mix it with something or stuff like that. Or yeah, I also have a powder in here from AOA Studio. I have a couple primers, but not a ton. Um, this one's also from AOA Studio. And then I used to have an It Cosmetics primer, but I think I got rid of that. I have a moisturizer. My skin gets super dry, especially in the winter. Next, I have this Bambi eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. And all the colors are super natural looking and they work really well. So I do keep this in my makeup. In my makeup bag. I have a couple different blushes in here. This and like highlighters. So like this one which is like a pinky highlighter. Then I have this one which is like a darker pink blush. Then I have some liquid blush which... Honestly, it's more just highlighter than blush, but it's, it'll still work well. So that's that. I have lash stuff. Oh, this is not closed all the way. I do the Maybelline Mascara and Lash Sensational Boosting Serum. In there, I have... Hello? The lashes and lash glue that I bought from the Dollar Tree video, these ended up working really well for me, so I keep them in my makeup bag for a special little event. And then I have some highlighters in here. I have this Estate one, 
which is has more of like a yellowy gold tint and then this la colors one which i also got from the dollar tree video that has more of a pinky tint so i have some lip stuff i have a couple lip glosses this is a liquid lipstick from the dollar tree video this is a lip gloss that I got as a sample from Ulta. This is the Tarte H2O gloss. It's really pretty. And I, I don't use it too often though because it's kind of thick. But And then I use the Seraphine Botanicals Berry and Juice Lip Gel. This stuff is where it's at. It's amazing. I love this product. I also got this as a sample from Ulta. Um, so there's that. And then I have the Colleen Ballinger lipstick. You, you can tell I use this all the time. It is all the way up and it's there's barely anything left because I use this every single day. I love this lipstick. It's so pretty and works really well. It stays on a long time. I don't know why I have so much lip gloss in here because I don't wear lip gloss that often. Next, I have the Ciate London. I don't know what that brand is, but there you go. And it's the lip. And it's just really pretty and shimmery. And then my current favorite lip gloss is the Florence by Mills. This is Millie Bobby Brown's makeup. She, I didn't know she had makeup until I was in Florida and and Ulta had it and I'm obsessed with this. It's so pretty. I got it in the color Moody Mills. It's like a nude. It's really, really pretty and it works really well. And then I have makeup remover in here. So I carry around this Clean It Zero cleansing balm, which I got in an Ipsy bag that my aunt gave me. It. I also use this pretty often. It works really well for like if you don't want to use like makeup wipes and then finally I just have single Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes that I got from Costco these came in like a big box because you know Costco so it came in like a massive box with a ton of like actual like packs of makeup wipes like these things it came in a box of these and then there were like 50 singles so I do keep a ton of those singles in my makeup bag because they're pretty good to have with you and yeah I'm dropping things and then my brushes you know I have the blush brushes spoolies all that stuff so that is everything in my makeup bag I I don't have this in my makeup bag at the moment, but I use it off like every day, so I probably should. It's the NYX Professional Makeup Finishing Spray. This, like, I, I'll do like a swatch of lip gloss and then with and without the setting spray. So you guys can see how well this thing works. It works really well. I'll be right back when this dries down a little bit. I decided to take the lip gloss off because I forgot that like lip gloss doesn't dry. So instead I have this eyeliner pencil. It's just from Dollar. I got it a really long time ago. It's from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to draw. My hand's wet so it's not sticking. I'm just going to draw a line. That's pretty defined. And then I'm going to do. My hand is like really wet. So you can see they're both on there like the same amount. I'm going to spray the top part with the setting spray and the bottom part without it and then we'll do a makeup wipe and see which one stays better. Alright, so the setting spray is dry. Let's grab a makeup wipe and we'll see which one's better. One swipe, two swipes. So you can see it, this one is the one I didn't spray is coming off a lot easier than the one I did spray. I don't know if you can tell but this one's completely gone and then this one is just faded. 
So yeah, the next setting spray is my personal favorite. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, press the red subscribe button, and ding the bell for notifications every time I post a new video. Here are my social media handles. Make sure you check out my podcast called Disney Geeks, available on Spotify, Anchor, Audio Bloom, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, everything in between. I need to work on that, but I'm waiting for it to work with PJ. I'm waiting for it to work with people's schedules. That's why I haven't really been like uploading on there. So I will soon. I promise I will soon. But I just need to figure out some scheduling stuff. So I love you guys. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.